Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the St. Louis Podcast. I'm your glorious host today, Eric Brown, sitting next to Adam Ferris. We got a familiar face back on the podcast, Dante. Thank you for joining us again, OG Dante, across all channels. And we're going to get into the weeds with him. And uh, we got some topical stuff today. Hopefully we can we can get into it. Um, again, this is the St. Louis Podcast each and every Friday, 7 a.m. Central Standard Time. We drop an episode on all major podcasting, audio, and video platforms. Let's jump into it, Dante. How are you? Thanks for having me back. Absolutely. It's like every six months I'm back here. It's like therapy. That's it's, right. That's right. It's nice. <laughs> we we <laughs> always get into some stuff. So um, um, I'm glad we got some good topics today. Before we do... How's life been the last six months? What have you been up to? Busy. Yeah. Busy, busy. I don't even know where the last six months went. It's June. Mm -hmm. I know. What's up with that? Yeah. I'm going to be honest. I don't even remember May. Like, it was just kind of, like, gone. Mm -hmm. April. I turned 30. Yeah, nice. I forgot about that. Congrats. Yeah. Like, the aches and pains haven't started yet, though. Yeah. I don't know. Everyone was like, well, when you turn 30, that's when everything changes. And I'm like... I just I've woke been, up tired, but that's because I was up late. I haven't felt any changes <laughs> from being 30, you know, so I don't I don't know. Not from like, 29. Yeah, it's like, what's, okay. Yeah, what's the difference? Oh, my God, I'm in my 30s. <laughs> so scary. <laughs> well, I saw that you – so I saw one of your posts a while ago. You were taking a break from Instagram, was it? Oh, my God. Because you were mad yeah. at the algorithm? Yo, I've been fighting this algorithm so what's Instagram. up? So what's up with this? Give, well, us, like, the, give us the deets. I'll give you the, the like – it's some details, but I'll keep it brief. All sure. right. So I started Instagram in like 2019, mm-hmm. this account, and I started out posting St. Louis stuff, and then I started moving to more YouTube stuff, then like content creator stuff. And it's like, it's been like ebbs and flows. Sure. Yep. But like lately, the algorithm has been so bad. Like I have like 5,700 followers. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Why are 200 people seeing my stuff? Right. Yep. Like, I, and like all these Instagram people are like, you just have to make better content. You just have to be better. At, and I'm like, right. Yo, but you're showing it to 200 people. Yep. When 5,700 said, yeah, uh-huh. I'm opting in to see what you mm-hmm. make. So, mm-hmm. like, is it really me or is it you? It's, like, yeah. not even a shadow ban, though. It's, like, you just can't that's see just stuff. That's just, like, that's just straight up hiding. having good content <laughs> yeah. doesn't do anything because, like, they're nah. – I was having a conversation with somebody the other day, and, you know, they do, like, social media management, right? Mm-hmm. And the, the posts that she posts that are – you know, maybe seven seconds long, took no editing. It's literally an overlay of a song, get yep. like a million and a half views. Correct. But the ones that are like cinematic masterpieces get like 250. Correct. It That's doesn't facts. make any sense though. Well, you can mm-hmm. see it on TikTok. Yeah. I mean, content's trash. Well, apparently For they the don't most push part. business yeah. though. Yeah. They they push, Instagram says that they only push, uh, I don't know if they publicly said it, but all the numbers that I've seen from like researching mm-hmm. the different things, they don't push business accounts at all. So if you're not posting on a personal account, and if you're ever registered mm-hmm. as a business account, mm. so even though like I, I like I found that out, I started posting on my personal account instead of the company account. It doesn't get pushed anywhere near as much as like the super dumb, you know, meme yep. videos that get two million views. Mm-hmm. Dude, for our social clients, some of the best mm. engagement we get is like literally following trends on TikTok or Instagram yes, and just making a bullshit 30 second video of that business owner Mm -hmm. doing that thing literally and it blows up yeah yeah it's it's terrible Mm -hmm. it is because everyone's just doing the same thing we're just chasing everyone's doing the same thing yeah Yeah, you're just really is it's everything is the same every audio is the same every edit's the same and it gets Mm -hmm. so tiring yep that's why I was like, I have to take a step back from Instagram because like it's starting to spill into the St. Louis scene, mm-hmm. which I love the creators here. Like yep. I'm friends with all of them. They're great. But I'm tired of seeing the same kind of videos yeah. every single right. day and the same influencer events. It's like the same group of people, the same videos coming out of it. I'm like, it makes me not even want to go yeah. to that stuff. Yep. Yeah. Because it's like, I don't want to just do the same thing as well, everyone. Well, it gets repetitive. Yeah, why is everyone yeah. doing the same thing? Playing it safe? Because they do what we I just said. I feel like, yeah. You're following the trend. And to be honest, it's working because they're yeah. all growing. Yeah. So it's like, why, why change it up? Mm-hmm. Uh, you know. But at some point, authenticity sells, right? You would think. Yeah. I mean, t- from a sales perspective, I would argue the most important thing as sales is mm-hmm. being authentic Facts. and being honest. Yeah. yeah. Literally, those two mm-hmm. things. And if you're not producing authentic content, at some point, you're gonna level off and not grow anymore. Yeah. You would think. Yeah. Yeah. Because if you're not differenti- differentiating yourself from everyone else, if you're just the same person as everyone else, why is everyone? Why is anyone going to follow you versus this person that's producing the same shit? Mm-hmm. And that's kind of 
the word on the street I've been hearing from people is like everyone's also picking up like, oh, it's the same mm -hmm. stuff that I see. Like, and it's not just St. Louis; it's all across the board. Mm -hmm. It's like, why would I follow ten people that are all making the same video when I could just follow one? Yep. Yeah, all like the you life. Know? You follow like one lifestyle guy, one business guy. Yeah, but that's the thing is like when you're trying to make a reel or something like that, you you know, there may be a trend where it's some hip mm -hmm. Drake song or something like that. But if you're trying to yeah. post it on a business account, it doesn't work. Mm -hmm. Dude, know? what's that song that everyone's putting uh, reels to right now? The rap song? Oh, BBL Drizzy? Uh, no, not BBL hey, but, Drizzy. But the Millionaire like one. The oh, Millionaire baby. song. Oh, millionaire the baby. Million Dollar Baby yes. or whatever. Right. Yeah. Every, I, am, I am so, I am so sick of yeah. that song. Yeah. I'm, gr I'm like grateful because like I think, pretty sure it's produced by somebody from St. Louis. Yeah, so like, cool, Metro great. Or something like, that. like, amazing. But... Yo, yeah, there's got to be another song that yeah. we can use, guys. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's the thing is, you, if you're not first on the trend, you hear it enough on your own feed. You're like, while you're making that video, and obviously, as you're making videos, you're hearing the song repetitively a hundred times, like the same five seconds. Mm -hmm. You're like, you're like, damn, yeah. this is annoying. Yeah. Yep. This is obnoxious yep. to listen. To. I always say that like TikTok and Instagram reels ruin songs for me. Hundred percent. It ruins it. Like I 100%. take things off my playlist. Like I remember yeah. there was one song. Oh, what was it? It was like they're also maybe... good at getting the best part of the song. Yes. So you go listen to the full song, you're like, this mm -hmm. is trash. Yep. Yep. So or like sometimes you're like, okay, this song actually sounds pretty good. And then yeah. you listen to the rest of it and you're yeah. like, no. Why did this get pushed? Yeah. I think reels and stuff are killing yeah. everything. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because the what mm -hmm. the TikTok creators fund, they're not putting any more money in for short form content. Yeah. The, nobody's making the, anything. Like no that. one can make any money off short form content. But you want to know where you can make money? YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. So be sure to hit the subscribe button down there. <laughs> yep. Yep. There That's right. See? See? That's right. Shameless. Yeah. Subscribe, share, yeah. like, comment. Hit yeah. that notification bell. So you never miss an upload. That's right. We love you all. See, I'm <laughs> shameless about this stuff. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> no, but for real, like YouTube, I feel like... Is there just too many content creators? Like at some point... Ooh, there's... let's get into that. At some point, there's too many, right? Yeah. So I go on Instagram now. I Half of my feed is coaches. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Coaching yep. this, that... You're a fitness coach, you're a lifestyle coach, you're a sales coach. It's like, mm -hmm. how, yep. just in the coaching space, I'm like, mm -hmm. I, I see new people every day. I'm like, how many people actually need what you guys are doing? Very few. And they're all saying the same shit. Yeah. Every sales coach is saying essentially the same thing. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Obviously, maybe there's like 1% of those people that are good, but the rest yeah. of the 99% are saying all the exact same stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, I... I was listening to Colin and Samir, their, their like podcast, mm -hmm. and they were talking about like brand deals and everything with creators, mm -hmm. and it like ties into this where there's an overabundance of creators that yep. brands can partner with. Yep. And there's like not enough of the partnerships out there. Yep. Yeah. So like you know if you have a dream partner, like let's say I want to partner with a camera brand because I'm a videographer, mm -hmm. they might not want to partner with me. There might be another brand that's like, hey, we'll right. give you money to do something, and yep. like. I've got some exciting stuff coming up. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna spill too much, but I've got some exciting stuff coming up, and mm -hmm. like, there's just not enough. Yeah, you know, yeah. there's mm -hmm. just not enough, and it's like we have too many people making content. Like, there's an overabundance. There's like too much inventory at this point. So now it's kind of like the pendulum has went from like not enough. Yep. To now we're at too much, mm -hmm. and it's like starting to weed out the people that are mm -hmm. like aren't standing out because you yeah. have to on social media. Right. Yep. You can't just be like, oh, I'm just gonna make a video of a trend and blow up. Then yep. like, who's gonna stick around? Yeah. Who cares? No one. Well, it's so easy no these days to blow up off one or two videos, yeah. and then you're relevant for a week, a month, yes, six months, and then they they disappear. Yeah. Well, I mean so that they weed happened out quick. That happened for mm -hmm. us with the podcast. I mean, we blew up one reel on TikTok got us like a couple million views last year, and you yeah. could Jeez. see that. Yeah, we talked about um, uh, what's the blonde or blind deaf Anne uh, Frank? No, not Anne Frank. <laughs> Is it Helen Keller? Uh, Helen yeah, Keller. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Helen Keller. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So we that that blind deaf and yeah, that mm -hmm. went viral. Yeah. We talked about how she didn't actually fly a plane, and that that whole story is the whole story of Helen Keller is insane. Now. Yeah. Yeah. So that mm -hmm. blew up, and then of course our views, I mean, blew up mm -hmm. on yeah. all of our platforms as well. Yep. Yeah. But that only lasted like a week or two. Mm-hmm. Because like if you know you see it as well on on Instagram, you know people, it's like for some reason you got fed this great video by them and it has a hundred thousand views, but you go to their page, they have like seven thousand followers, yeah. mm -hmm. and you know everything else has like a thousand. Yep. Shout out my profile. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, it's so freaking annoying. See, like whenever that happens. maybe we don't have good enough content. 
That's what the freaking Instagram people are well, I think saying. There's, that's, two, there's two like, different ways. So you have somebody that has it's so crazy. Really good content. It's like yeah. you have your content's not as good. It's like I will show you so much shit content yeah. that gets insane views. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We have two virals. You have the viral where like you have a content creator that makes really good content. Like mm -hmm. I can't even think of an example, but even on Instagram, mm -hmm. you know, the, the accounts that post like the you know, F one race or some like high yeah. Yep. Yeah. high, you know, quality footage. Mm -hmm. And they're Every single one is viral because it's such good content. Mm -hmm. And then you have something like the podcast where it had one clip that went viral. They got that one clip, and every other picture or video has four likes. You yep. know what I mean? Yep. So there's two different types, mm -hmm. and I think that's why, you know, you have Instagram and TikTok that promote the, you know, watch it once and never see that person again probably. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. think about that. Think about how many times you go on your phone and you see some guy like, yeah. this video is sick, and you like it. And if you didn't like it, you'd probably never see that guy, that account, mm -hmm. or you know whatever it was ever again. Well, I feel mm -hmm. like most people just forward stuff on Instagram and they yeah. never yeah. follow. Because you'll see, yep. you see it all the time. I mean, the forward, I don't, forward share. Yeah. Why am I saying forward? Yeah. Like it's an email. Sharing I mean, it, we're just you're circling the, back yeah. on everything. Yeah, yeah. the yeah. sharing though has even more saving, more engagement. Oh yeah, yeah, saving. I don't even like stuff sometimes. I just I just save it so I can go back and look at I it. I got I got some know? good I got some funny stuff saved. Right. Yeah, for sure. Same. Same. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then you go back and look at it, you're like Jesus. You're like, why did I save this? Yeah, yeah. It's like you go so back old. and clear it out because you're saved. It's like you're yeah. you're, you're real. Yeah, yeah. Like that's what you go back and look at. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love doing that. So All right, fun. so the content space, we don't have answers for you. Sorry. Make better content. Make better content. Spend money. The meta executives. Spend money on meta, right? Oh, they That's yeah. what they want. They, that's yeah. really what that's they really want. That's really what they want. That's really real. what they want. They just want you to keep funneling the money. So we work with, uh, we had a client last month that all they spent was two grand on meta here locally, and they were able to get 800,000 impressions, and they reached like 200,000 different profiles here in the St. Louis area. Wow. Yeah. So that, like it, it's random. Restaurant. It's random. So it worked yeah. super well. Yeah. I'm yeah. sure that was great. Yeah. No. They they saw obviously with Meta, it's hard to measure direct return on investment with yeah. companies, but it's pretty easy when you have a meeting with them and they're like, we can definitely tell. Mm -hmm. And that's all you want to hear. Yeah, yeah. It sometimes does get challenging because, like, whenever I pitch to brands, like, I throw mm -hmm. them my media kit and I'm like, yeah, you know, like, this, these are my metrics. And they're like, well, how much are we going to get from that? I'm like, with social uh, media, it's so hard to tell. You because, can't, like, you can't, you're just going to reach that person. But, like, who knows? They're, they could end up talking to 10 different people about it. Like, there's an offline, like, it's so hard to measure that stuff. Right. Yep. With you know, Google I mean, ads, we can measure a lot more yeah. versus meta ads. Yeah. That's what I always tell people because when they come to us, we're like, well, you know, should we do all these different services? It's like, well, with Google ads, we we know that this is going to be successful just by looking yeah. at keyword planner and knowing, hey, mm -hmm. in order to get in front of these people, it's probably going to cost this to get a lead versus mm -hmm. meta. It's like, there's no calculator. There's no way to tell. We have one, but it's kind of bullshit, yeah. to be honest. It's kind of bullshit. Sorry. <laughs> no, I mean, it's kind of just, no, we're there's... guessing. Yeah. We're guessing. Yeah. It's just a hypothesis. Yeah. I mean, marketing is an experiment. Yeah. It really is. Like, I, if you stop experimenting, that's a problem. That is a problem. I'm looking right at you guys. There are okay. a lot of people cutting marketing budget right now. Oh my which, god! Which is like the worst thing to do when you have. So, if a bunch of people are cutting marketing budgets, that mm -hmm. means you have an opportunity now to get in front of all of those people because mm -hmm. that means there's less competitors in that space. But exactly. instead, business owners, you know, see, you know, let's just say they had a loss of revenue you know, a couple percent in one month. And then they're like, holy shit, we mm -hmm. need to cut marketing. It's like, no, you need more marketing. It's like, yeah, you need more marketing. Yeah. like, Or we need to change something with what we're doing. I don't understand why marketing is always the first to go. Marketing and creative, it's always the first to go. Yep. But like for what? Yep. Well, I mean, because so we need to maximize profits and we need to make sure the bottom line is... It's the top of the it's the top of the funnel is marketing. Yeah, literally. Well, it's what you just said, it, it's hard. It's the hardest thing to track. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. So that's why. So it's it's the easiest thing for them to say that's the problem. Mm -hmm. Well, ninety percent of the time, not. Yeah, we've had clients leave multiple times, <clears throat> and it's not like it happens all the time. But you know, a handful of times, a client will leave or cut budget almost the whole budget, and then we'll hear back from them in six months saying that was the absolute worst move to do because yeah. mm -hmm. now they're in a worse spot than where they were yes. six months or three months or whatever previously mm -hmm. but it's like now you have to dig them out of a deeper hole yeah 
I think a lot of business owners just don't have their metrics properly set up to actually being able to see where their sales come from. Because if you could directly see that, you know, 50% of our sales are literally directly correlated with Meta or mm -hmm. Google or whatever, cutting that literally doesn't make any sense no, unless no. you know that you're going to take a loss of revenue. Yeah. Yeah. Or you're going to fire someone or mm -hmm. something's going to happen in mm -hmm. your business. Otherwise, it doesn't make any sense. Mm hmm. The only time I would say it makes sense to maybe slow down your marketing is if you're having issues scaling, yeah. you can't hire enough people. Mm -hmm. And at that point, you're literally getting so many leads coming into your business that you're almost ruining your reputation because you can't get mm -hmm. back with all those people. Yeah. Yeah. But that's far and few between. Yeah. Far and few between. Yeah. It hop it happens a lot less often than people think. Yeah. Like people are like, oh yeah, like I just need to bring on more people. It's like, no, actually you need to you need to bring in more people to like patronize yeah. your business, yes. not bring on more people onto your team. Yep. It's got it flipped. Yes, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yes, ex exactly. Got it flipped. That's right. We well, have so many people that cancel their, you know, even with social, mm -hmm. like we said, it's all a trend. So you get this, you know, if you just go cold turkey, you say, I'm done doing, you know, social, even, even mm -hmm. just traditional marketing, it's all trends. It's mm -hmm. what's going on. You know, something that worked five years ago, even a month ago, doesn't work now. Yeah. So you just stop it. You think that that's the problem. When you go and decide, hey, I need that marketing again, it doesn't... It's it, not like it you just flip just, a switch. It doesn't just follow you back. You know, no. it, it's, it's, a, yeah. it's a cultivation of things yep. along mm -hmm. the way of the last, like, six months that then maybe lands you that one trend, mm -hmm. that one, mm -hmm. you know, you know five-star idea that hit, and now you're making a lot of money from it. But it's very rare to probably come back and you could probably say more than I do, but come back. No, I mean, you turn again, off, and I mean, you turn off meta, you just turn, get lucky. You yeah. turn off Google. It's not like you just can go back and turn yeah. a campaign on yeah. and yeah, get the no. results that you were having. It doesn't yeah. work that way. Yeah. It, it, it's not going to be like starting a new campaign, mm -hmm. but I mean, you're essentially starting almost over. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I work with a few real estate agents and like one of the things I tell them is like, just make content, show up every day, mm -hmm. just put out a reel, be like a source of education for people. Exactly. And then that's like, it. like you said, like in six months, a year, whenever they're ready to like, you know, rent a property, buy a home, buy a complex, whatever. Right. You'll be top of mind because they've been following you, engaging mm -hmm. with your content. You've been like yeah. cultivating that relationship. Right. Don't like, just post yeah. your homes that are for sale. That is. Please don't. And like Literally. car dealerships. Oh, yeah. They're the worst. <sighs> Oh my they're god! They're the worst, but they're the best. Have, you know, you know, you've seen that Doug Townsend guy. Dude, yeah. I was literally yeah. about to pull Doug up. God. I was literally dude, watching. You know him. who I'm talking about? I, probably. He's like yeah. the really hit guy. Yeah. God, he's so funny. Dude, he like, he's bringing. Yes, yes, yes. You know, yeah, he like. Yes. Yes. I know exactly who this is. Hey, we got a 23 yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 But like, but it's funny. <laughs> this it sells. Yeah. yeah. I want to go buy a car. For Look this how many guy. comments. Look how many likes. Look oh at the engagement God. on this. Well, stuff. He, he's in like an argument right now with Andy Elliott. The, I saw this one. The, the this is the one that like I was like that is hilarious. He's like you talk ghetto. No, but I think you think you're black. That's so <laughs> funny. That's so funny. <laughs> 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 he forgot. He forgot what truck he's selling. <laughs> Dude, no, he was. Yeah, him and Andy Elliott are going after each other. Oh my he, god! Well, you he know, he calls so Andy funny. Elliott an idiot, which yeah. I completely agree. It's like let's just take our shirts off yeah. right now and do a podcast. Andy yeah. Elliott is. People love his content, though. Well, I don't. I don't people. understand why. Why sales guys love to get yelled at by a sales trainer as if that. Is somehow going to make you a better salesperson? I really don't know. I don't understand it. It's like, wouldn't you rather? I don't get that. Because well, it kind of makes you feel like you're doing something better or different than somebody else. Well, it's because I guess yeah. It's the same they're, reason they're, you they're go convincing to... you that what they're doing is right. Yeah. Wait, and... is Andy Elliott the guy that like calls dealerships yeah. too? And he's yeah. like, he's the bald guy. Yeah. The, yeah. Oh yeah. With the tight shorts. Ex-wife had to put $200 in my account and it won't bounce. <laughs> I don't think anybody's ever talked about your wife or your kids. That will always be off limits. You know, facts. I'm with it, it makes me think, Just though, like, facts. That, every video I've seen from, from the Andy guy, does he really have that many enemies? 
Yeah, well, he's... does he have that many enemies? No, they're like they're like internet beef enemies. Everyone, yeah. everyone's he's so just sick cars. of him. Everyone's sick of him. Yeah, because he's always just yelling and like, oh, you got to do this, you got to yeah. do this. And then I saw one video of him trying to sell, and he was like super forward, yeah. super aggressive. And I'm yeah. like, well, he sold. He's what well, they came out, and, and he also got arrested for fraud. Dude, he's a uh, narc. Like he got what? arrested for fraud. He's a like narc. That. He was yeah. uh, he was uh, like the second in command at a large dealership in Florida or something. Yeah. And they were doing fraud there, mm-hmm. and uh, Andy Elliott. They there was like four of them went to went to jail. Andy Elliott was the one that was narked on everyone. Yeah, told the police or FBI or whoever was investigating, <clears throat> and he <throat> skated away with no time. Yeah, and now he's selling. Yo. And now he's selling sales training materials, and he has the Elliott army. Yeah, it's insane. These you know guys. What? Here's here's all the sales me, these training men, you need. These men need to be red pilled, dude. Oh my god! I'm yes. like, they need Andrew Tate. I'm like these. <laughs> I've I've, oh. been, I've been saying lately. I'm like I, these guys out here. I'm like this is crazy. The it's, the Instagram trend. Have you seen the women asking their husbands if they'd rather they're a woman in the f- woods cross a bear or another man? Oh and god. all of these women are trying to say they'd rather come across a bear. Bears are extremely uh big and aggressive yes um and they eat things for fun yeah um i saw on my for you page i saw a bear just like eating the salmon yep. i'm like yo i wouldn't want to come across that at all Mm-mm. no i that is like i get i get that's... some of the stuff i get it but bears are it's gonna kill you the bears don't if it's care. a mama and a cub she's gonna kill you if there are cubs in the vicinity oh yeah you're done bear is going to go crazy yeah what's the on anything the, what's the trend there's well, a, either it's literally just women like asking their boyfriend or husband, mm-hmm. "Would you? Would do you? Would a woman rather run into a bear or a man in the woods when they're alone?" What do they usually say? The bear. Of course, it's psychotic. That's no, what no, no, I, no, 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 that's what no, no, I've no, seen. The on. men, no, the men are saying obviously you'd want to run across another man. Yeah, and, the, and, and the then the women are, saying... are trying to get them to say they'd rather run across a bear, which is insane. Why? Because they're saying that a guy is more scary. Or... Yes. They're saying men are more scary than bears. I mean, granted, I guess a guy could just like pull a gun and he could like airdrop yeah. you your death. So that is a pretty. Yeah. I guess it's a tricky. You know, you know that's yeah. A... If you're but, really worried about that, maybe you shouldn't be hiking out in the woods I mean, by yourself. A bear can close the gap pretty quick. Yeah, dude. They can there also was climb grand, trees. Grand, no they can climb trees. No they can way. climb trees. Grand Teton climb National trees. Park. A guy. And they can swim. A guy on. That's true. They can do everything. You're you are. Oh, bears what can't a bear do? Uh, they run. Can they fly? How fast can a bear run? How fast can You know what? Now, now I, I just want to learn. Honestly, I just want to learn bear facts now. Uh-huh. 35, 35 miles per hour. hour. What the? F- what? They could Dude. get pulled over in a school zone. Dude, Bro. that's crazy. Bro. Dude. And really? Yeah. So they can cover. So the big thing is with like bear attacks, usually it's in a highly wooded area. Yeah. So like you're hiking and like, you, you know, you see like 50 feet in front of you. Okay. By the time you see a bear, yeah, that thing de- will close the distance in a couple of seconds, and you're done. I guess it depends on the situation. Like, how are you encountering this bear or man? Like, what is this? What is the scene? What is the, what is the venue? If it's just walking across, it's probably okay. But if it's chasing you, you're dead. Usain Bolt can run 27.78 miles per hour, and he's the fastest yeah. man on earth. And that bear can run seven miles an hour faster. Seven miles an hour faster. And bears can jump, can't they? And fly, right? They and fly, dude. What are next we, thing they, they need is wings. That'd be crazy. We should be grateful that bears have just like minded their business in the woods. Yeah. Cause they would just they would go crazy. There's yeah. not that many bear attacks, but look up bear attacks if you ever say you'd rather run across a bear in the woods than another man. I think yeah. it's like it's also, like sharks, also men out in the bears. woods. Unless you're yeah. like in a national park, maybe because there's mysterious disappearances in national you're parks. You're a hiker, so oh yeah, this is your alley. Yeah, I mean, I always say, aren't there bears in Missouri? Usually, yeah. you don't want to like brown bears. Yeah, there's yeah. like little brown bears. Usually, yeah. you don't want to be hiking with yourself for the most part if you're in like an area like that. And then also, if you are, first of all, tell people, and second of all, have a tracking unit like on you, so that yeah. way people know where you're at. It's probably not a bad idea. What kind, like of, I have what a, kind of bear are we encountering? See, now I have a lot more questions. Yeah. Now that this is processing, well, I'm like, what's the venue? What kind of bear? Like, am I coming across a teddy bear? Yeah. <sighs> that, you know? I pick a teddy bear every day of the week. Honestly, I'd pick a teddy bear because, like, bro, they'd be cuddly. And I stuff. used to have it. I think you can run away from have, a human. You ever though? used to have beanie babies? Oh, still paying the guy. Yeah. Yeah. It, wait, you're running away from a teddy bear? No, 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 no. If, it, oh. if it's picking a bear or a guy and I was a girl, I'd still pick the guy. Obviously. Of insane. course you guy. would. That's why it's so preposterous. It's insane. Literally, this statement is crazy. Would you rather? It's like obviously a dude. Yeah, yeah. It's it's crazy. But a teddy bear 
I'm making an exception. I'm, I'm, I choose the teddy bear. That's fair. I That's choose fair. the teddy bear. Understood. All Just right, saying. so we got some St. Louis news. Did you see that there are rare parasitic cicada fungus confirmed in Missouri turns the insects into hypersexual zombies? The fungus infects cicada bodies, changes their sexual habits to spread spores, and even causes male cicadas to replicate female cicada behavior. This is crazy. I That's a lot who, to process. I don't know who found that. So this is what's been brewing so, 17 years in the ground. I is guess. That, I guess. Yeah. Is is this? I did not know that cicadas so, came no, from the ground. So, the, so sorry. Yeah, they they the just emerged the yeah. in the city. I don't see them at all, except in Forest Park. Yeah, I was yeah. Gonna say, I've heard nothing. No. Yeah, it's been yeah. peaceful. Well, where are they going to come out of? They got to come out of the ground. If it's all concrete, there's nowhere. Yeah. To I mean, come that's out of. true. But like, yeah. we got parks. That's true. But here's we the thing: How do they get from the ground? They're like. They bury, they bury, they can bury feet into the ground. How, yeah. So they've just been chilling there, chill yeah. this whole time. They so chill. They, they just chill there every year, and then they just come out randomly. Now it's like twelve years or ten years oh. different. They're down there for a minute. Why That's are gross. they just marinating in the earth? I don't know. I don't think there's anything useful about them. So they are. So it's a fungal pathogen that affected them. If I was like a bullfrog, I'd them. be having a heyday right now. Yeah. Do you know bullfrogs don't sleep? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. What a weird thing, dude. To I just, they don't sleep. Yeah. Yeah, correct. What do they do? Bullfrogs don't need sleep as they don't have a sleep-wake cycle. Instead, they enter a state of dormancy, which is a period of inactivity and lowered metabolism. But they never go to bed. So they, they never like. So they just they just nap. They, they like chill. Soft nap. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And I the reason I brought that up is someone told me that last week. I was like, what? Random trivia information. I'm, I'm enjoying nap. all these facts. Honestly. Yeah. So bullfrogs don't need sleep. Bullfrogs don't need sleep. Okay, well, that's gonna haunt me now. Yeah. So then they really have a heyday with these cicadas. They're like, oh, a buffet oh. just emerged from the planet. Ooh. About do some lizard. Ooh. Do I don't do bull are bullfrogs? Are they carnivore? Are they omnivore? I feel like they just they eat bugs and stuff, right? I feel like they just be eating things, you know, like bullfrogs are carnivores. They eat crayf crawfish, water beetles, snails, mm. larvae, small fish, and occasionally small birds. What? <laughs> Wait, they eat birds? <laughs> Small birds. What do turtles eat? Dude, I just it's like saw the same thing. You you Basically, follow, yeah. you follow nature as metal or metal is na na nature yeah, is I've metal. Seen, I've seen, yeah. On Instagram, they just post crazy shit of out in yeah. the wild. They just posted yeah. a video last week of a turtle killing a uh, duck. Really? It was crazy. I was like, "What? A duck? A duck? It like that's, took its neck and bird. literally killed." I was like, dude, "What?" Snapping turtles are aggressive. Yeah, dude. I Yo. was on Shetler the, the other day, and I was behind this guy, and he had just pulled out of his driveway. Mm. And I was like, "Why is this guy stopping? He's stopping in the middle of the road, yeah. two lane." I'm like, "What is this guy doing?" So I slow down. He gets out of his car, and there's a snapping turtle in the middle of the road. He's you know trying to get it out of the road. He's grabbing his tail. It's like 180 snapping him and stuff, and he starts kicking it. I mean, he's like mm -hmm. kickball kicking this turtle and then finally grabs his tail and just whips it into the woods. That's the only thing you can do, though. Otherwise, well, it's going to bite your finger yeah. off. I mean, when I, I used to live on a farm and we would find them pretty routinely because yeah. we had ponds. Yeah. So we would just like, t like one time we found it in the yard with the dogs and I'm mm -hmm. like, oh, shit. That could be bad. So we took a shovel mm -hmm. and just yeeted the thing. Yeah. Just like threw it over like two fences. Yeah. Yep. I don't love turtles. Some people are in love with them. They I'm just a, they don't do much for they're, them. They're 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 dirty animals, dude. Yeah. They they yeah. Uh, they're gross. Yeah. But those tortoises at the zoo, those like a hundred year old, yeah. Those are sick. Why? Imagine having one of those. That'd be why? Wild. That's some like Dubai. Actually, shit. that's yeah. why do they yeah. always have tigers and shit? Not like a hundred year old turtle. That's or way like more impressive. Two hundred year old. Yeah. Oh my, dang. That's way yeah. more impressive. Do you yeah. think they're actually two hundred years old, or is that just a lie? I definitely. You know what I mean. They could easily lie about that. Be like, they could lie about that. Because who's gonna fact check they, like, that? Time stamp the shell or something. Yeah, it's like, how do you know? Mm. We What's... need Carfax for turtles. Yeah, it's got the. So you've been okay, so yeah. it's got like the maintenance history and everything. So Othello and Ray both Aldebra tortoises. Sorry, <clears throat> I just butchered that. that name came to the U.S. in 1938 and may well be over 100 years old. Those are the two at the St. Louis Zoo. Hmm. So they came here in 38. They know some things. Oh, we got to talk to they've them. Seen, they've, they've seen, seen, they've seen shit. some things. Elon Musk, can you put a Neuralink in some of these things so we can talk to them? Yeah. Why are we worrying about like all these, like Teslas? Why are we worrying about Teslas yeah, can we when stop? you could be 
Can we stop take, with the Cybertruck? Take the yeah, please, please. <laughs> like, like I said, PlayStation Two graphics. Yeah. <laughs> we don't need that. We're past that. What we need is to find out what these tortoises know. That's okay, exactly some correct. Secrets in that vault. Okay, please. It, it, do you remember? You the can actually ruin the world with that. You give it to like a dog that you know, even like a presidential dog, or like oh. a royal. Have dog. you seen that dog that like hits the buttons oh. and like communicates? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. That's weird. That's You're talking about on Instagram, the that's a, that's a baby that can, in a like, costume. Do the the yeah. stepping things? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk. I'm like, that's or not a dog. That's talk. just some guy. Yeah, that's just some guy. I know. That's AI. Yeah, it's got to be fake. But do you think they actually train them to talk or like pick the right button, or did they just train them to step mm -hmm. on the buttons? Because because the buttons, remember, they like say a word. Yeah. Right. And a lot of times that's it's true. like one of them. You know. I mean, it's all conditioning, all, all, right? They're usually like cuss words and. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just yeah, thinking. I've seen the ones where they only yeah. give him like fuck and shit. Yeah. And I'm like, it's like bitch. what's that accomplishing? Yeah. Bitch. <laughs> Nothing. Yeah. It's content. Like, what? Yeah. It, your dog's dumb. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, only knows yeah. two words and they can't even get anywhere with them. <laughs> <laughs> bitch. Fuck. Yeah. Do you yeah. do you remember the bar PM story? Barely. The, the cops. Uh, if they so apparently the cops that night had left a cop bar and oh. they were all like partying that night. Yeah. And ran into the bar PM, uh, I guess a famously, I could be mistaken here, gay bar. Oh, in, yeah. In St. Yes, Louis. Yes, and they hit it, and then they, and like, then they arrested, arrested the, the owner. owner. So the owner is now suing bar PM. But the... Wait, the, the owner suing the bar? Or, excuse me, sorry. The, the owner of bar PM is suing uh, the police department. Like, you're suing yourself? Yeah, but the police department never released what they promised to release, which... Oh. Um, uh -oh. well, I, mean, I think it's tricky because they, if they weren't on duty, they definitely they don't have body cam and stuff like that. Mm. I don't know the situation <laughs> Listen to that at all. That <laughs> Listen to this. The department <clears throat> said the officer driving the vehicle was adjusting the radio when he swerved off the road. What did he do? What happened? Wait. He went through the front door of the fucking bar. Okay, look. He destroyed the front was, door of the bar. Crushed. Yeah, he destroyed the front door of the bar. Okay, it, look. It was, look, probably, listen, it was listen. probably a good song. On the way here, I'm changing got merged the radio twice. But that, like, changing the radio and, like, ending up in a building, that doesn't happen. No shit. That doesn't happen. Imagine, imagine like, the, the major or whoever or the captain that's like, listen, we need to put a good story behind this. It's like, captain, I was changing the station. And they're like, I, yeah, yeah. I had, a, I had, that's it. They put, the advertisements well, they, they came on. The I had to change the station. They can't prove. Mm -hmm. Pretty smart, actually. Well, I thought, at first, approved, I thought at first they said that there was a dog that ran across the road. But then looking at the video surveillance footage of like a thing across the street mm -hmm. had, there was no dog. Okay, so I, I think now that I have this information, mm -hmm. I think I got it figured out. Yep. The dog yes. must have jumped through the window, oh. started change it, changed the radio station to something like rather offensive. So they were like, no, we can't listen to this, this while we're in a police vehicle. So immediately it was like, no, no, we have to change this. And then ended up building. It's it's absolutely That's ridiculous. That's got to be it. That's got to be the story. It's absolutely ridiculous. These dogs out here, they're like, they're not for the culture. You know? No. Yeah, bar PM. What really happened? Yeah. That's, I haven't I haven't heard about this at all. What? Nothing. I'll be right back. At all? Nothing. I'm running to the restroom. He's leaving. Oh God. Just, he just left. This is, a, this is the first time ever. You, you look look at what you did. I know. Gave up on him. Like, come on. Well, no, it's like actually insane that. They ran into a building like that. That I can't get past. I know. I'm trying. To, I'm on Reddit right now, which I don't use, and it's saying drunk or high. Did they do it like a toxicology test, or was it just like I don't know. the dog you, changed the radio station? Well, you ever seen like the videos where like the cops get arrested? You know, any, any oh, video, any video where like yeah, a, a cop yeah, gets arrested. Yeah. Why do they always do everything they're not supposed to do? They always like <laughs> breathalyze. They always do the blood test. They always yeah. blow. So why would you do that? Yeah. You're the one that's supposed to know not to do that. Yeah. You ever seen that? And the cop's like, like, the cop comes to work just, you know, fucked out of his mind. Yeah. He's like, they're like breathalyze. And it's like, you're at a 2.8. I just don't. Why would you breathalyze? Why yeah, would you I, just say no? I don't know why. Like, I, I, I don't know enough about the scenario, like for this. Yeah. But I, I want to see like what, what happened once they discovered this yeah. entryway that had been built in this new, or in this bar. I, I know nothing about it. That's why I'm trying to figure it out. But it was a Christmas party, I'm being told. There was a Christmas party? That's what it looks like. Wait, for the cops or at for the cops. RPM? For the cops. So the Christmas party. Wow. Yeah, so it looks like the officers may have been getting drunk, and then they crashed. I mean, look, look. Everybody likes to have a good time every now and then. We all do. 
We all need to like relax, exhale. It happens. But like, don't get behind a wheel if you're doing that stuff. Because how this how can drunk do you have to be worse. to run into a like a, a building? And it a building. It appears to be not at a dead end. So you had Yeah, to, wasn't it like in the middle of a street? It it that's what the picture looks like. It looks like you had to No try. intersection. You like had, you had to go out of your way to do that. Yeah, you had to you had to really not like that. These somewhere. cops were hammered. There's no way. Well, it says yeah. they're at a Christmas party. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Like Christmas. I said, people like to, you know, you got to exhale every once in a while. Everybody needs it. Life's rough. Mm -hmm. You think no cops intended on the dog. You think cops would know to get a sober ride. It, it doesn't. Look it's, yeah. abso it's absolutely. Especially when, like, there's also all these, like, Uber and Lyft codes yeah. out there. Yeah. That are like, here, here's a free ride on us. Yeah. Well, it doesn't I, look like, like they were in a cop car. They're just in one of their personal cars. They're just having to be cops. No, they were in they were in a SUV. Really? And didn't they yeah, hit they another, were, like, didn't a police a vehicle hit another building, like, two weeks later? Yeah. I feel like it's really hard to hit a building. I think we need to get a St. Louis oh, City cop on here. I think that'd be awesome. Yeah. yeah. They would have some stuff. I have a lot of questions. We, hey, listen, <laughs> if there is a good St. Louis cop that wants to come on. We'd love to have you on to talk to you about these issues. Please. We got some issues in St. Louis. We do. So I just saw on the St. Louis subreddit that apparently cr <laughs> crime is down in St. Louis How? City. I saw this exact thread this morning. Okay, yeah. Yes, where they're talking about like the Shaw car break-ins yeah. and everything. Yeah. 30, okay. 30 cars. because all the cars have been broken into. The keys are gone. That the key is no still more getting taken like on the daily. I, I'm in the I, got stolen Facebook group because yeah. I unfortunately well, you am had a victim a, of car theft. Well, so you, like I went in there. And I just learned that your car that you had was one of the easiest to steal. Yeah. The 350Zs. Yeah. Yeah. And you ha still have one. Right? Yeah. It was bad. Maybe. But yeah, or G35s no, are apparently even worse. Though. It's There's mostly the G30s. Yeah. G35s and G37s. Like those. Uh -huh. why, I forget why they were so easy I used to, to have steal. one back in the day. So like, I'm still like in key. that subreddit too. It's like a, or you, have like, you have like two different ones. You have the key that's really easy. Um, I think the issue was the key with the those. Key, or you, you have the, the one where it's, you know, push to start. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Some model of that push to start, you literally need like a, a flipper and you can get in that game. Yeah, it's like those older generations. Yeah. Like you need, like they're really. Yeah. But they last forever. Well, you, you can G35s kind of are great. Yeah. They're, the the engines and stuff, yeah. the transmit, bulletproof. Yep. Like they are <clears throat> bulletproof cars, mm -hmm. but like there's just problems. And yep. that's why you have to put in extra layers of security. Yes. The Kia Souls which are I have a lot in my car. Tuckened. Like every car that I'll have moving forward has like many layers of security. If you have yeah. a manual, it's probably not getting stolen. You know what? That myth is a myth. Is because it? Because the, what they will do is they will still bust your window, mm -hmm. but like with a manual, all you gotta do is kick that thing in neutral and they just roll it down the hill. Yeah, that's true. If guess if you're on a hill. Yeah. If or, you're flat yeah. though, then they gotta have some people to push it. Yeah. Or you could just get like air suspension and deflate every night, <laughs> and then they, <laughs> then there's nothing happening yeah. to that thing. Well, do they? A lot of the time, it sounds stupid, but these people don't know how to drive manual that are stealing cars. You know, it also takes longer. I feel like if you're in a manual, you know, you gotta take the brake off. You gotta find mm -hmm. first gear. It takes a little longer yeah. to get away than. But yeah. you can sneak away way more quietly, especially you if you're can. parked on a downhill. Because, mm -hmm. like Dante was saying, you just throw it in neutral. Yeah, but you can and get then any car you then. get going like ten miles an hour. You just pop it in second. I mean, your your car starts. Yeah, I used to. Uh, I used to have to do that. I've done it a couple of times because anytime my battery dies, mm. it's always at like, it's like, great. I didn't know my battery is going to die. Now it's dead. Mm -hmm. Now I have to jumpstart it and then do that. Here's what I will say to people that are stealing cars. Okay? Fuck off. If you're if that. Fuck first, you. First of all, <laughs> please don't do that. That's rather inconvenient for us yes. that are working for these things. Yes. But if you're willing to go through all this effort to like learn how a car works, Bro, let me tell you. Be a mechanic. If you become a mechanic, yeah. you can A, open your own shop, start at a dealership, learn how to do all the cool stuff, then break off and do your own thing. Then you don't have to you don't have to have to think about that stuff because you'll have five cars that you bought with honest work. <clears throat> yeah. So and then you can become that friend that whenever people's cars break down, you can be like, Oh yeah, I got you. Here's just pay me for this. Boom, done. Then you're working for yourself. Yeah. You have a nice, lavish life. You'll get that house that you dreamed of. All those cars that you had on posters on your wall growing up, mm -hmm. you'll have them. Yep. You'll have them. Yep. If you're willing to go through all that, just literally learn to become a mechanic. Just put in the work, and I promise you, I know so many mechanics that are, like, just having a great time. Mm -hmm. Because also, they just love cars. Yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. There's layers to this. Don't yep. steal. Yep. 
Then you'll get caught, and then you got a record, and then nobody likes you. Yeah, mechanics. Like, you're 50 unpopular grand. and unsuccessful. Do you really want that? <laughs> like, come I don't, on. these people don't care. But like, they're stealing. They're like recording themselves stealing yeah. and posting it on Instagram. But it's like, crazy. For what? Like, who? Who? Well, they're also who realistically cars. cares about that stuff? Yeah. Well, does it? It is the is the answer parenting? Like, are we just failing mm. at parenting right now? I, you know, because like these yeah. kids don't even care. They, they literally do not care. No. Like, uh, you know the guys on YouTube that go around to like the worst places in the United States and yeah, talk to them. Yeah. Like they will be forthcoming about crimes that they've committed and stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, Andrew Callahan with Channel Five has said he's had to remove parts of videos where people like say, "Yeah, I've committed murder," yeah. and stuff on camera. And he has to tell these people, you probably shouldn't be telling people that. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like these probably people not. don't care. And I, it's, like for, it's probably a combination of bad parenting and social yeah. media. Yeah. Social media mm. for sure. But let me tell you, a few thousand likes is not going to pay the bills. It's not going to get you more opportunities. No. no. Okay. Mm-mm. A lot of it's like an initiation of things. You know, you have your, I was actually talking to a buddy about this the other day. Um, I want to be initiated. Because you had like a bowling alley. Right? This is actually pretty fun. No, bad. Green, no, I'm Green Gang, though. Money Gang. Oh, God. Okay. I mean... St. Louis Money Gang. We'll, we won't actually... St. Louis Money Group. Sorry, we won't call it a Money gang. Group. Money Group. <laughs> this is an investment firm now. Not yeah, a yeah. The <laughs> Money Gaggle. Yeah, yeah, the Money Gaggle. There we go. The Money... Yeah. I was what talking to buddy about this, because yeah. you had a bowling alley. Whole heated situation, oh, but there was... going to be crazy you know, already. You're in a there, bowling alley. I, isn't that crazy that anything can even start in a bowling alley? But... <laughs> You know, people, you know, being tougher than they are. And I, I was asking them, I go, what are, like, the the gangs these days mm-hmm. in St. Louis? Apparently, there it, it goes by, like, subdivision. Yeah, like, really? Yeah, you have, like, you know, I don't even know. It's just, like, random It's like you know, subdivisions? Yeah. You know, That's it? Uh, you know, streets Ooh. or whatever. You hey, have, if like, you're a, in a gang in St. Louis, reach out to us. We'd love to have you on the podcast. Yeah. You know, you have, like, Washington Ave. You know, we'll, put a, yeah. we'll put you a mask like on here. We'll, we'll filter out your face or something you know. if you don't want to be on camera. But they'll, they'll have like the Washington gang, whatever they, they call themselves. Yeah. But yeah. that's like there's like 50 of them apparently. They're, apparently, St. 50. Louis, apparently St. Louis has a ton of them. Yeah. So all like a lot of the robberies and things like that are like initiation because they steal a Kia Soul. And they, it's not a good, good car. No. They don't even strip it. Or anything they like just that. Joyride. So they, so they just joyride. They just joyride and steal it. It's like an. Uh, are you gonna thing. say you like Kia Souls? No, don't, it, it don't, just don't cracks me up that it's like <clears throat> I just can't imagine being like, yeah, I'd want to steal like a Lambo. Some, or I'm gonna something. do some devious shit, yeah. and then getting in a Kia Soul. That's the hamster car. The hamster car. Yeah. There are there are a couple cars I hate. That's on the top five of the list. What about PT Cruisers? That's hate them. Ab- absolutely okay. there as okay. well. What HHRs. About a, I was about to say is Chevy HHR. What about that? If you're, I guess if you're, you know, in trades, it's okay. But if like you like an HHR, like that's your personal vehicle, mm. that's crazy. You can't get in one and look good. No. Honda Fit. Nope. Honda Fit is pretty bad. Honda Fit. Any of those made that. Toyota like Yaris. Like Nissan Cube. Yeah. Yeah, Nissan Cube. Toyota Yaris. Mm-hmm. Any of those like little just, no. I mean, frankly, shit boxes. Mm-hmm. For sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Not good. It's no. just anything that's polygonal. Yeah. Or like. Cybertruck. Yeah, exactly. Isosceles. We can't do that. I don't understand <laughs> why people like the Cybertruck. I think the only reason they do is because they like Elon. It's just new. Yeah. There's no way that anyone yeah, actually you know, yeah. likes them. Yeah. There's yeah. no way that anyone like. Yeah, yeah, it's all vanity. It's mm. got to be. It's just clout. It's yeah. clout. It's clout. It so it's like. It's uh, clout. Especially because you're paying like 50000 over MSRP. Like they're going for like 200 yeah. grand. That's and not just because they just you deflated like out engineering. Of yeah. Yep. Like, yeah. oh, just because Elon woke up and was like, you know what? Yeah. I'm going to devalue my product. Yeah. It's like external validation. That's all it is. It's, that's how I feel about BMWs. Mm-hmm. Do you drive a BMW? No. Do you drive a BMW? Okay. Well, good. I'm not a fit. No. If you drive a BMW, it's I feel like it's just external validation. I would drive an older one, like the E40s and stuff. Yeah. Back- See, that has some swag. Yes. But like anyone that's like, yeah, I got to get me an M3. It's like you I like the are, SUVs, though. Just SUVs like go touch nice. grass, please. Yeah. There's yeah. so many cars that are better. You have like an M3 mm-hmm. CS. And it's like yeah. you have... They're cool. Like, listen, I dude. I the drove little on... M1s are pretty dope, though. Yes, I drove one around a track in Thermal, California. Amazing. I yeah. had the time of my life. Mm-hmm. So much better you can buy for that price. But they're so much better. Yes, it's so much better. Yep. The cars are just getting outrageous nowadays, mm-hmm. price wise. Oh, insane. Well, new cars are still slowly starting to come back down. Yeah. Good. But as they should. They're, they're... But then you get the new ones that aren't like a Mercedes, like CLS with a nice interior is like one sixty. Oh. 
Who's paying you know what that? I mean? There's a, a lot of people. And I've it's seen them surprising everywhere. how many people yeah. are paying that. Yeah. Because, Dude, because all they do is they put a nice set of rims on it, some, you know, Brembos, yep. and then they put, you know, maybe a matte PPF on it. And they're like, mm-hmm. well, 180 now. I'd rather buy like an STI and put like 15 grand into it and blow the doors off of all these people. Mm-hmm. That's what I would want. Mm-hmm. Hard to say. I don't even I, want like a Lambo and stuff like that is great. <clears throat> but at the end of the day, I want, I want a sleeper, dude. There's nothing better yeah. than sleepers. Yeah. Because when I was in at at uh, in at Mizzou, I had a Saturn Ion Redline supercharged. So the yeah, thing we was, talked about. That, so the thing yeah. was pretty quick, and I used to race people all the time at Mizzou. Mm-hmm. Porsche Boxsters, you know, uh, <laughs> five yeah. O's, and and yeah. I would impressive. I yeah. would. Yeah. <laughs> Sick. I mean, I had a Saturn Ion Redline. I'm beating yeah. a yeah, fucking the, Porsche. The it's, pretty it's, nice. hanging, yeah, it's, it's pretty nice. Yeah, it's pretty sick. Those is pretty neat. It's yeah. Pretty neat. Yeah. And Which, I will say also Ferraris are cool. Ferraris yes, are I do cool. like Ferraris. Yes. Don't send me a season desist. Yes. I, they're cool, all right? Yeah. 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 They're, they're famous for that. They're cool. Yeah, right? Yeah. They're cool, all right? They're neat. Mm-hmm. But I think I would go Lambo over Ferrari. Really? Oh. I, you know what oh, I would yeah. do? I would never buy you know, a Huracan or anything like that. The only Lambo I'd buy over a McLaren or Ferrari would be like a SVJ or something like that. Oh, they're so cool. They are. But those, those are the only ones. They're Every so other neat. one is the most rented car or like it's influencer the most car, Forex car. Yes, 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 yes. Out yes. there, we're like a Ferrari. You're like, in my garage. Like an F8. New the here. Aventador Dude. is amazing. Yeah, any Aventador. Yeah. Like Aventador is sick. But even then, I love Aventadors because they sound insane. Mm-hmm. But even then, dude, I think I'm going for like a uh, Ferrari, like F8 or mm-hmm. something like that. Wait, they start at 250. Oh yeah. Why does no, it say they can go to 800 grand? They can go over a mil. Oh yeah. SVJ well, like is like the, a mil. The more you spec it out and the more unique yeah. it is the more limited yeah. production it is <clears throat> 350 miles per hour or honestly, kilometer per hour i yeah. would go for Shit. if i could just pick up a car right now i think i would go with an lc 500 is that the lexus yeah yeah i've been car, hearing about that just, way more if you really. look at it what is it uh lexus lc 500 i just can't get oh my head around a lexus being that, that expensive but like aren't they like at 500 it. grand they're cool but they're not they're they, so neat and they dude, sound 100 so grand. good 100 grand 100 grand oh, this ca- oh, wait this kind of looks like uh is that different from like an lcf like is, is yeah. there one that's nicer yeah. than that there is yeah okay so that's what i'm yeah. thinking this of. looks like but the, like as a daily that's beautiful what's the old lexus that they came out with it was like 400 grand a car one of the best the, uh, cars, right? lfa lfa this yeah. looks like yeah that's what i thought you were talking about lfa okay yeah okay that's what yeah. I thought you were talking about. Does it sound in- as good as, as that? Because, that, oh, my God, that that's just beautiful sounding. But, yeah, that I would go with an LC500. I've, They're sick. They're sick. If that's, you had 50 grand, what car are you buying? 50 grand. Oh, okay. That's a hard one. That, okay. Everybody okay. always says if you could go buy any car. Well, yeah, if you could go buy any Do car. I, yeah, 50 it, grand, what car are you buying? An older car? It's, it doesn't – it just it – Older your, Porsche Carrera Turbo Manual. Okay. Okay. That's I'm, respectable. I have a, I have a hot take on this. Oh, God. And it's gonna or I, Subaru SDI to be honest, WRX maybe just drop some. I drops even them. hate myself for it. What do you? <laughs> you're gonna say <laughs> you're, you're, you're gonna say, but a you Maserati your... Gran Turismo. Oh, two door, sick. Okay, so are you loud. all right? Okay, is I, everything okay? Hold on. I, saw, I saw a guy in my garage. Devil's the other advocate. Day. Devil's advocate. They're they Gran sound Turismos. They sound nice. They have good Dude. finishes, <sighs> but yeah. It's a Maserati Gran Turismo. It's a Maserati. I know. Period. Yeah, I know. I'm with I you. But but for fifty grand, what? For fifty grand, though, that's yeah. a pretty pretty good option. For they sound grand. like an F one car. They're insane. They do, but like for the ten miles, you'll be able to drive it before it breaks. Yeah, yeah. but imagine you get a good one. Okay, no, and we're not even talking about that. We're saying Can't you know fifty grand. Home. We're saying no reliability is important. We're, we're saying fifty grand and it works. You know, oh. fifty grand and you got uh, a new. Oh, like, oh. No, no, we got to stick with just the fifty grand. Don't try to fit gr- this Maserati in the equation. I don't know then. Maybe not a Maserati. Then. I had a I had a respectable. <laughs> you know answer. what? You know what? Like a Mercedes, like C sixty three. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Yep. That's have, honestly that's a better answer. I feel like that's the answer. To okay. be honest with you. Cool. That's a good um, option. I don't know what I would do, honestly. Or I like mean, a or like a Raptor, like a like a twenty twenty Raptor. Nah, they're pretty sick. I mean, that's a lot of vehicle. Yeah. It's a lot of. I'd vehicle. rather I'd rather buy a truck and then put my own suspension and stuff in it. No, but nothing looks better than the Raptor. Like the, I, the, I the, the, Raptor, the Raptors do look good. Yeah, because be they're honest. ten inches wider than normal F one fifty. You can never make a normal F one fifty look like a Raptor. Just get a Hummer H one. Yeah, but then you're. Then That's you're, the ultimate flex. Then you're I sus. still, then you're I sus. still love Hummer H ones, dude. I don't know what it is about that. Gone mm. in sixty seconds. The black one with the snake look, scene. Man. It's Hummers are cool. Uh, the H one is neat. incredible. We uh, 
whenever the Hummer EV came out, we I did a. Uh, How my do buddies. you hate this thing, dude? This thing is sick, Eric. That's that like two hundred is... grand. That's an H one. That's like two hundred grand. I don't care. But it's for two hundred grand, you're gonna drive. No, this is like a car you just kind of have in case you need it. That's an apartment building. That's true. That, probably, look at that. That's a bedroom. That's the bathroom. The black one. That's, that's your kitchen right there. That's huge. I yeah. remember. I wonder what. The, I wonder what the size. What's of the these square footage are, of that? <laughs> big. <laughs> I remember when I worked at First Form. Andy Frisella had one of those, and he had like a black that one, and he would drive when it would snow. Sixty-five. Dude, the thing was a beast. Six. How much, how much does Seven this thing weigh? It's the curb so weight heavy. Well, they Wait, can what? they can fully inflate and deflate the tire. Seventy-five. It has only three hundred horsepower. What the hell is this thing doing? No, it's three hundred horsepower, but it's like how much torque? It's like it, it, insane. Is it like it's insane? Yeah, what are we looking at here? I need because to if I'm not wrong, it, it's not like a normal transmission. It's like almost like um, you know when you drive like a Gator or like a something yeah, like that. Okay. And it's one gear, five hundred twenty yeah. pounds. Okay, that's that makes up for it because I'm like three hundred horsepower. What the yeah. hell? Yeah, no, that it's doing? not. It's not fast by any means. Like, and it, the top the speed is slow. I think the top speed's like sixty. Who cares? You're wow. mobbing in that thing. No, it but, even but it like it'll power. Can't even drive anything. the speed limit in the middle of Missouri. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. All right. We gotta wrap it up here, gentlemen. Oh, oh wow, it is. Oh wow. There we go. Wow. It There's is. another St. Louis podcast for you. We did it. Uh before we, we did it. That's right. Before we wrap it up here, we got like into none of the topical stuff. I didn't get to talk I didn't get to talk wow. about Elon Musk, Kanye. This happens every time. Shout out real it's quick uh to Deep Fucking Value, aka um You got it. Uh sorry, Keith Gill, GameStop. He has put his positions online now. Get in while you can. Uh, this is not financial advice. Wait, GameStop V2? Mm-hmm. Mm. Dude, he... Let me, let me show you his position. You love do, I have, do I have the photo of it? Here, here is... Well, like, that was honestly such a remarkable He's got thing. 5 million shares of Good GameStop, Lord. valued 140 mil. And he's got all of these calls at $20, 120 mil there. Yeah, but there's a reason he's showing you that. Yeah, of course, because he's trying. He was, he's, he's trying to puppet. make the thing happen that needs to happen. He just yeah. bought all those calls. He's trying to. Look, man, he's I'm trying just, to make the moon happen. I'm just happy <clears throat> that I made like 500 bucks off Dogecoin. That's fair. That's fair. Dogecoin. All right, where can the people find you, Dante? At original Dante on all platforms. Instagram. Yeah. Yeah. Find me on Threads. I, I be I be knitting now. You know. On Dude, do you actually? Yeah. It's actually it's a place for creators. So if you want to learn that, stuff okay. Better. All right, fair. Um, I'll, I'll what start else? On there, YouTube. I'm on there. Yeah, subscribe to YouTube. At Original Dante. Get YouTube Premium as well, please. People are like, oh, I gotta use the ad blocker, but it's like, but if you put it on TV, what are you doing? Mm -hmm. There's no ad blocker. For yep. It. Just, just, and the plus, it it actually supports us. Okay. At a dollar. Part of our revenue does come from. I could pull it up. Part of our revenue comes from YouTube Premium. Yep. You're supporting your local talent. That's right. Your local Dante. That's yeah. right. Support your local Dante. That's right. Support Dante. Uh, description link will be below as well. All right. That's all the time we have for today. However, we will be back next week, 7 a.m. Central Standard Time. More myself, Adam here, and a guest. If you're watching live or later, we said something wrong, said something you hate. Maybe we said something you like. Please like, review, subscribe, leave a comment. Send me a direct message if you know I said something wrong. Or Dante definitely wants to hear from you as well. I'm Only on canceled. Instagram, though, so make sure to DM there. I'm going to get canceled. <laughs> That's right. We're all getting canceled. That's right. Uh, finally, we recorded this podcast at Half Coast Studios here in St. Louis. Shout out to the guys making this happen. If you need to report, or excuse me, if you're looking to record a podcast, if you're looking to just help with distribution, reach out to them at halfcoaststudios.com. That's all the time we have for today. We'll see everyone again next week. Peace.